do we have relatives with two kitchens in the house? One upstairs, one downstairs. Yeah. This is a normal thing. Yes. No, that's that was not normal. A hundred. Really? But okay. the kitchen we was a it. sacred place, right. even though there was only one. Okay. But yes, I hear you. I I, I know I know that. You thing. go to the Bashamant. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was a little in in Pennsylvania. That was a little more something you saw in the city for some reason, like in um, uh, the city homes, like the row homes and stuff that had basements. Uh, you'd go down, and sometimes it was kind of fixed that you could almost live down there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there was a ki- another kitchen downstairs or whatever. That was something you saw less for some reason in the suburbs where I grew up. Even though there were basements. I don't yeah. know what that is. <laughs> the suburbs had unfinished basements. They were more like... They were more like playrooms and stuff. It's, it wasn't even that. It was more like, here's where you keep your tools mm-hmm. and your pipes. and You know what I mean? And scare your kids. Yeah, this is... The, we, wanted, we wanted to make a room that could flood right. <laughs> for you. <laughs> it was like that, you know? Uh, yeah. But, um, but yeah, but anyway, I'm sorry. Finish what you were saying. That was it. I just, I'm with two Italians I wanted to ask. Uh, Italian adjacent. I mean, look, I, I zigged when I should have zagged with this. I was talking to Pimp earlier. I should have fucking steered into this Arab thing that I have. I'd be making a lot more money right now. Yeah. <laughs> but I just don't identify well, we're both with Italian it. Latin mix. Yes, the correct. I identify with the Italians. That's how I was raised. It's I like, mean, I, you know? I'm part Mexican, but I was raised by Italians. So right. culturally, I'm Italian. But I mentioned, I'm like, I'm also Mexican. I mm-hmm. mentioned that I'm Arab too, but you got to really steer into it if you want to make some. You're I mean, Egyptian, right? Yeah, it doesn't help. Why don't we go over it. there? Let's you could be something. a millionaire right Let's now. Let's go bro. over. I, you could be a millionaire. Yeah, right I know. Now. You went the wrong <laughs> way. It's like when I filled out my student loan application. I <laughs> checked Caucasian. To this day, I don't know why. I could have yeah, just checked why. Hispanic. I I you gotta have coasting. a, you know, you gotta have a story. I gotta. Oh, I felt so out of place as the only Arab in the Italian neighborhood. <laughs> oh I just not how I but feel. But Italians though. and Arab, there's an Arab blood in Italians, anyways. So a lot of Italians, ha- we all sort of look. Very yeah. I will tell you that wherever yeah. you're sending yes. your tape in to try to get a new special, just dress in Arabic clothing, <laughs> send that shit in, and you will have a special post haste. I know. Well, you'll definitely get attention. I don't know. How it will be perceived, <laughs> but you will get attention. Yeah, um, I'll sure. call it. I'll call it. Isn't this bizarre? But I'll spell it bizarre, like an Arab oh, market. <laughs> and I'll, you're, but you're Egyptian. Is that an Arab both market? Your I have a bizarre, yeah, bizarre. Staten Island. How did yeah. you find out you were Egyptian, though? <laughs> I'm a, well, they told my parents. I, I'm, I'm, I come from the time of adoption where they gave you a little more information than they were supposed to. Right. So that's how I know. But then I did 23 and me. You could be royalty. And ancestry. Oh, and what did it say? I'm curious. Mostly Egyptian. Yeah. A little bit of Middle Eastern. Not a little bit. I mean, 30%. Mm. Saudi Arabia, that area. Um, yeah, it's kind of a... How wow. fascinating. It is fascinating, but it's just... It, it doesn't mean anything because yeah. it's like when you grow up completely out of it. I never met another Arab kid right. until I was 20 years old. You know what I mean? Because where I grew up was all Irish, Polish, and a, a Roman Catholic. That's mm-hmm. what it was. So I just didn't. You know, I respect it. I appreciate it. I'm I not, feel a little like Oprah right now. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I see you as a doctor. You never went back. <laughs> uh, Don't tell me. Yeah, yeah, you have a mustache. <laughs> tell us about the pyramids. But my point, yeah. My, <laughs> my point is, is like I, I can't like pretend like people have said to me many times like you should exploit it so you can get more well i job. but i can't i'm, I'm not gonna and i never met a gay person another gay person until i was in my 20s right and i'm really riding that <laughs> Wait, i know but here's the difference i know I'm if i felt like oh my god i only want to have sex with arab people what? i could have steered into it do you know what i mean that's the difference with gay gay you were like i i might not have met other gay people but goddamn. I feel it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I don't want well, I don't want to be straight. You could learn Arabic and Egyptian <laughs> Egyptian but, but, Arabic but is like the standard Arabic, Arabic for television. Learning I mean, Arabic is not the same thing as being driven from a romantic place of sexual What passion. I'm saying to you outside you of saying? my my outside of my gain is like, okay, I speak Spanish, right? Right. So even though I wasn't raised with a Mexican culture, Right. But I mean, my family is part Mexican. It's an, an instant connection with other Latinos. Mm-hmm. So I can have full conversations with other Latinos in Spanish if they don't right. speak English. And there's an immediate connection just I didn't language. even. I didn't. I would never learn Italian, even though I. But you could learn Arabic. I don't want to. That would well, be then, so much fun. You I just don't, I don't want to. Do I don't want to. I hear you, but you're also a you're you're a guy that wants to know different languages. Were you born like here? I just don't. Yeah, Chicago. I was born yeah. in Chicago. Okay. Oh, yeah, I hear the Chicago. Joe, have you ever looked into your background? Like, what if you're a prince? 
Okay, no, I know. obviously. <laughs> yeah. no, I, had a joke. Not- I had a joke about this. I had a joke about this, about, you know, it could be. This I don't is your wanna, kingdom. Yeah, I don't want to do the bit. I don't want to do the bit. By the way, was that offensive what I said? When I said. No, not at all. Because pimp, pimp is over there doing his Gen Z shit where he's going, oh my God, what? Oh, yeah. We're no, yeah, dude, you're bringing it up on a, an episode about applesauce or whatever you're doing. <laughs> No, we're I talking about like I think it's in- I think if you have interests and your background, th- this is, is what Egyptian- I'm, this is what I was trying to say about the uh, sexual identity versus heritage. Oh, I was just using it as a joke. You no, no, take no, it very no, no, seriously. no, no, no. I'm not taking it seriously. I think it's an interesting conversation. Now. And oh, okay. I couldn't choose croissants. Yeah. <laughs> Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man.